Just for disarray on Capitol Hill after your conversation with allies yesterday, worry you that you won't be able to deliver the aid that the U.S. has promised to Ukraine? It does worry me. And, but I know there are a majority of members of the House and Senate in both parties who have said that they support funding Ukraine. With your, uh, I'm going to be announcing very shortly a major speech I'm going to make on this issue and why it's critically important for the United States and our allies that we keep our commitment. Mr. President, are you also concerned about the rest of your uh, domestic and foreign policy initiatives being in peril because of what we saw happen yesterday, the dysfunction in Congress, uh, the chaos that we saw on the House side? Does that concern you in any way? <laughs> the dysfunction always concerns me. The programs that uh, we have uh, argued over, we passed bipartisanly. I'm not concerned that they're going to all of a sudden come in and try to undo them, although there will be some. There will be some, I'm sure. There's uh, half a dozen or more extreme MAGA Republic Republicans who would like to eliminate just about everything I've done. Um, but uh, I, I don't think that's going to get there. If I may, um, without additional funding, how long will the United States be able to support Ukraine? We can support Ukraine in the next tranche that we need, and there is another means by which we may be able to uh, find funding for that, but I'm not going to get into that now.